do you know the dentist can help you breathe better dentist can help you in your cold cuff and maybe asthmatic conditions too Namaskar parents I am Dr Deepesh Vajapati dentist just for kids from Jaipur Rajasthan let's talk in this video that how a dentist or dentist can help you breathe better through your nose see for good jaw development for good quality of sleep to have a pleasant sleep to have good oxygen in your body there are two things which are important first is breathing through your nose keeping your lips sealed and second thing is keeping the tongue at the correct resting position the correct resting position of the tongue is behind your upper teeth from where the sound comes your tongue at rest should be resting behind your upper teeth not behind the lower teeth so many a many a times either one of those either you are sleeping with your lips open or put not putting the tongue at the right spot or maybe both of the things are wrong and this can hamper your sleep this can make you more allergic this can in severe cases can cause asthma and cause snoring as well so there are five things are how a dentist can help you in these things is number 1 is exercises there are many exercises simply like taping the mouth balloon blowing and other things which are Uh, made customized for a particular fashion for a particular problem so you can consult a dentist nearby he can tell you few exercises which can help you strengthen your muscles strengthen your tongue strengthen your lip and help you breathe better and obviously look better number 2 is lifestyle changes dentist who take care of lot of lifestyle they just don't drill fill and bill they often take care that how what is your body weight how you are growing what's your height and if you find a dentist who takes care of who talks about your lifestyle also he advises you how your lifestyle can cause dental cavities and your sleep problems such dentist often advise you lifestyle changes which reduces your immune ex, reduce, reduces your allergen exposures improves your immunity and other things so yeah lifestyle changes can be advised by interested dentist to make you breathe better number 3 is tongue tie tongue is a very strong group of eight muscles eight comes from this side eight comes from this side and houses it's a big organ and if it's not seated at the right place it can go back the throat here and make your breathing difficult and few people have a tied tongue since birth they do not have enough elevation on the tongue like this and they of it makes often breathing difficult for them or do not let them breathe right so dentist who are interested in treating tongue they can release it tell you few exercises for the tongue and help you breathe better number 4 is appliances see there are two common procedures which dentist can help you few people have a smaller jaw like this if you have a smaller lower jaw the tongue get doesn't get enough space in the jaw to stay and then what happens is the tongue starts obstructing your airway and then breathing through the nose become difficult or probably you start storing because there is a constriction and there is no smooth flow of the air on in your throat so advancing this jaw for patients having small lower jaw like this in growing and non growing patients you can always get the jaw forward and help you breathe better it's always easier to do such procedures when the child is growing and often when the growth stops it these things becomes surgical in severe cases so it's always better if you see your 2 year old 3 year old 4 year old kid who breathe through nose snores having frequent allergies please consult a nearby kids dentist who is interested in improving airway of your child second procedure is maxillary expansion while growing what happens if you are not keeping your tongue against your upper teeth the tongue is always down it doesn't support the development of the upper jaw and what happens to the upper jaw is it collapses without the support of the tongue and when it collapses many times the tongue come the teeth come in front so that's how usually the crooked teeth in kids are formed so there are few appliances which can obviously again make the jaw wide help the teeth go back they are called maxillary expanders can be done in growing and non growing patients again but always you get better results when it is done in growing patient because it's easier and non surgical thing number 5 is braces braces can be done at various age groups and there are few type of braces like aligners or you know self ligating braces who are more airway friendly helps you expand your jaws move the teeth in the right way and then create more space for the tongue inside the jaw inside the jaw so that it doesn't seats on your throat and makes your and so that's how a few kind of braces helps you breathe better if you have any other doubt regarding this topic you can leave an email you can leave your question on the email given above or write in your comment section down i'll definitely try to help namaskar there are few procedure in dentistry which can even worsen your breathing so please make sure you consult your dentist if you are already suffering from cold coughs asthma or snoring the dentist should not do few procedures which can even compromise your breathing more